Okay, in this uh, episode, I'm going to be playing Conflict of Nations, World War III. So we're going to find a game. And I'm just looking for one that runs in regular mode. Um, there's a couple different versions you can play here. There's like Flashpoint, which I think... I haven't played this for a while, but I think this is Europe. Battleground USA is going to be a... Basically, battle that happens in the United States. World War III is global. You see these 4x speeds. So this is playing at four times uh, normal speed. And, and normally, if you play this game, it's like one day is one day. It, it takes a, a bit of time. And so whenever I'm playing this, I will actually go through and um, probably record several different episodes of this to, to play through on a game because this will go on for several several days and I'm looking for one open slots five I think we've got open slots three I'm hoping for a flashpoint this one's got seven open slots still I prefer it to have several open slots left so I could uh, basically have a good choice of countries. If you come in and you don't have a lot of options, I kind of find my best. I have played Poland before. I did really well with Poland. Um, I have played a Central African country. I can't remember if it was the... Republic of Congo or whatever, and they've done fairly well with that. Well, this one's got four left, so maybe this, oh, this one's got eight. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one right here. Okay, these are the countries we got left is Austria, Croatia, Cuba, Finland, Norway. I don't like any of these countries. Yeah, I don't like any of these countries. I'm going to back out. I think I'm going to play a World War III game. So this one's got 39. I want to play it triple speed, though. I just want to play a normal game. That's 4x speed. This one's got 19. That might be the one I go for right there. Oh. No, this one's got 43 or 40. I'm going to join this one. Okay, it's a little warning dialog box there. So my country that I'm going to choose. Uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, is that still open? Okay, so this uses the Eastern Research Doctrine, which I kind of like because it's going to pull up tanks and everything first. I mean, you, you can branch out. I don't know if there is Ethiopia. See, I didn't like having a country along the coast. Uh, it, just, it just leaves you kind of exposed. And so Malia, all those are not good options for me, I don't think. Yep, we're going to do the Democratic Republic of Congo. Democratic Republic of Congo, sorry, the DRC. Uh, I kind of like the Western doctrine better just because there's um, a lot of reliance on air power in that. I find that to be very effective. But So I haven't played this in a while, so you're going to have to give me a second. But what we've got here is you've got your news up here on the left. 
basically showing you who's winning, which is Russia at the moment. And they are already playing. So we need to choose our research. So initially, uh, in this case, I think I would research your motorized infantry. And I think I'd go with the helicopter gunship right now. That's going to get me the most bang for my buck. And see this uh, motorized infantry, he's going to go really fast. And I got a feel in the first place I'm going to come down. We're going to start moving forces along the border because I'm going to push south. Now, over here, you can construct buildings, a uh, variety of different things, I think. So, like, here we have a resource. Um, what is this? Uh, rare materials. So, we want to take advantage of that. We are going to put in a... I think, yep, it's arms industry, I think is what I'm after. Yep. That's what I'm after, so we're going to put him in there. I'm going to pay attention because I've got my... This basic infantry has already been researched, so we're good. Don't really need to worry about any of those. BRDMs I can get in like uh, pretty quick too, but I do not have enough uh, of those things. That's going to take longer. Just seeing what I can go. So this I could go the CSU 30, but I don't have enough stuff to do anything with that. He would go fast. I don't have the research for that, though. I could start the research for this infantry officer, which I think I'm going to do. Okay, so up here you can see what I'm producing. 41 rare materials an hour, 47 manpowers per hour, 455 monies per hour, 59 electronics, 68 gas, and 87 components. So, and then 63 supplies. level one. Do I have any of those anywhere? Probably not. Since I have not built any of those. So I need to go back through and add an army base level one somewhere and I'm going to build him. I'm, I'm really short on just about everything but I can get this army base level one in right down here. So I'm going to do that. And so he's building down there and he's going to build really fast. I got a feeling I'm going to need 
main components, but I cannot build. Anything else except for more army faces, which I'm just going to go ahead and build because I can build them. So here's my game plan right now. Until I find out something different, I'm going to concentrate my troops down here and then I'm going this way. Think, yeah, because again, if I go this way, it's still going to put me on the coast. So I'm going to grab this, which he's got supplies, more rare materials that I'm after. Anything else that looks interesting? I don't, I can knock him out pretty quick because his capital is really close. I could also go for this over here, which might be my better option because he's small. I won't have to worry about too much resistance. Um, See, some of these, it takes me a while to get to their buildings, but I think in this case I'm not. So so I've got these recon units. They're going to be moving up into here. Once they get up here, I will start heading south. So this, hold on, let me... um. Check one more thing. I got those. Them. Oh, and I've got some artillery too. So we're going to. You know what? I'm going to move him right over to here. I'm going to move them right over to here. And I'm going to move him right over to here. We're going to get all these guys over here, and this is going to be our first uh, first target, is knocking this out over here, grabbing some more of these rare materials. And we'll send him off patrolling. And I'm hoping that once he gets over there, I'll be able to see over the porter. Okay, so I've got my first army base built. So with that, I can create more infantry. So the beginning of the game, getting this kind of stuff built up really quick is very helpful. And so it's going to take me 20 hours for those infantry to build. Yep, 19 and a half hours. So come back tomorrow and we'll have those infantry guys built up. So anyway, that's all we're going to do for this right now. I'll post up another video when I come back on tomorrow and you'll see what I'm doing. But currently with what I know, I'm going to hit this over here first, attack this country over here, and then I'm going to start heading south for the time being and see how much uh, territory I can seize and get as much uh, as much uh, resources and building up my industry as quickly as possible. So, because I mean, down here in Africa, I'll be kind of out of the way for a little while, but that won't last long. And so I need to seize as many of these little countries as I can to uh, kind of build up my army so I'm ready for whenever the bigger countries start coming into Africa. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll come over here and we'll look at coalitions. Um, well, it's a little bit too early in the game for me to, uh, well, we got a couple people who are standing out. So, but uh, he's already got five members in his coalition. Uh, it's a little bit too early for me, South America and Nationals. I'll wait a little bit until I see who's going to stand out and then start trying to join with them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor, hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. That'll help my channel out a lot. And I look forward to seeing you back next time. Take care.